Hi, I'm Dr. Tarone Lodog, physician, teacher, and author of National Geographic's Life is Your Best Medicine. Come and join me on a journey towards healing, health, and wholeness. I've been listening to women throughout my entire career. I've listened to their stories, and each one is unique as the woman who's shared it. But I'll tell you, there's a common thread that just comes through all of it to me, is this underlying sense that women really don't love themselves. I'm not even sure how many of them really like themselves. You know, and, and they come in and they, they're asking questions about hormones for aging. They're asking about, you know, Botox and, and diets and how to lose weight. And, and they're concerned about their appearance and, and their health. And, and I always ask one question. I ask as I'm going through their, their history and getting their medical history and, and family and that, I say, you know, could you just share with me one thing that you take care of that you don't like? And women usually look at me and they say, you know what? And I say, no, just one thing that you lovingly tend, that you just lovingly care for, that you can't stand. And of course, this you know, usually gets most women, they're like, I don't understand the question. What are you talking about? And I say, well, you know, my experience tells me, my sense of this is that most women don't take care of their bodies very well because we don't really like our bodies. We don't love our bodies. And so we're, we're looking for everything on the outside that might make us feel like we look a little bit better. And there's nothing wrong with looking good. That's not what I'm saying. But it's what drives that underneath, that sense of, of looking for love and, and looking for that, that sense of being complete. You know, I think this is what drives women to, you know, billions and billions of dollars of industry that is designed for beauty and, and for anti-aging. I think it's why many women get into bad relationships. They're looking for love. They're looking for all the things outside of themselves that can only be filled from the inside. You know, my, my sense is that if women really want to experience wholeness and wellness and, and healing, that it really comes back and starts with owning that this is our life. This is my life. It belongs to me. and I'm responsible for it. And I love my life. And I love who I am and this vessel that carries me through it. You know, women have also got to just shed all of the expectations, all of, you know, what your parents want you to be and what your husband wants you to be and what you think your boss wants you to be at work and fully step into who you were born to be and who you are called to be. That is when you fall in love with who you are. And that's, I believe, where real health comes from.